All right, so now we're going to add a few more effects to this title, and we're going to be looking at this area up here. Now, all of these in this row here are adding uh, effects to the chosen layer. Whichever you've got chosen in this, you know, if it's your text or your point light or other text or whatever it is, um, when you see it says attach particles to active layer. That's different from over here, where if I add a particle layer or a plasma layer, that's just going to add a general layer of that effect that won't affect your title. It'll be a layer of its own, and um, you can manipulate it in any way that you want, but it's not going to be attached to your text. These ones will. So here's an example. Uh, attach particles to active layer. I'll click on that. I'll choose Sparkles 2 and hit OK. And now I've got sparkles on my text. And then what I can do is go down and choose that layer, Particle Sparkle. And now I can manipulate it. Uh, I can choose, first of all, what kind of, you know, if I want cubes or rectangles or, or whatever it is. You can uh, make some choices there. Then you can make some choices here about what you want it to do, how big you want it to be, so the effect size. So let's go smaller. So then we just got nice subtle little sparkles on it. Okay. Another nice effect here is the gravity. And when I decrease the gravity the sparkles kind of slide, and that's a nice effect. And so then we can get into maximum age, which is how long you want them to last. So they sparkle and keep going. Um, Red. really unlimited transparency make a little more subtle make them a little more softer so you can't see them as much over here to emission this is the number of stars I've got first color and second color selected there. I chose some colors. Um, let's see what this crazy thing looks like. And so you see that what's happening is that it's only happening at that keyframe. If I wanted those stars and that whole effect to take place throughout the entire see it only starts right there and if I had wanted it to happen on all I would have wanted to hit all keyframes all keys okay so all right so we'll delete that and the way that you delete it is that you make sure it's selected here from the layers Okay, and that's the layer selected, and we hit the X here and delete that. All right, so that's adding a particles to a layer. Now let's try adding a plasma layer. And um, this one we're going to do to all keys, and these are a little more subtle. Choose white noise. Okay, and now we get this kind of white noise TV effect on the on the letters. So we'll try another one and delete that one. And purple blobs. Yeah, that should look good. Okay, so you're seeing some sort of blobby action there in on on the actual layer. See those blobs happening there? All right, so let's delete that, 
And now we'll go over here and see what adding a particle layer does here. So let's do snow. Okay, so you see this has nothing to do with my text. It's just snow falling on its own. It's its own layer. And it's going to play like that. And I'm going to have my title come in just the same as it was before and go out. And that snow is going to keep going. And so with that particle layer uh, selected, again, I can go back into here and make all these adjustments. What kind of shape I want. Do I want blobs falling or circles or cubes? And then all of the manipulations here. And you start to get to know what these are. There's emission and spread and gravity. So let's try gravity. So that's making it heavier and moving it to that direction, it's making it lighter. Okay, so let's choose another plasma, let's say, let's choose a plasma layer now, and we'll go lines. Okay, so we have these light things and again I play my title and I've got that background here these strobe light kind of things and again lots of manipulation Now with any of the effects that you add, you can go up to here, this little wand, and click on it and click Change Effect. And a box will come up with some options here and you double click on one of them and that one was Film Grain. I don't know if you can see it, but now this has kind of got a grainy texture to it on the light. And again, I can click that again and just do Stripes and we get something really crazy. You start to see how crazy it can get. But also how easy it is to create something really attention-getting really quickly.